All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. My Let's Play walkthrough part two of the series. Couple of just like system changes. We swapped over to performance mode. I didn't know there was a performance mode till I stopped and took a second to look through the menu. And we did turn the music back on again. Deal's the same as always. So long as YouTube doesn't go crazy on us with the whole copyright Sorry, system op options. Sorry, did I wake you? We will nope. keep the music on. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. Late night talk. What is she? <gasps> that sweet music. Gotta love it. Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway. There's something I need to ask you, too. Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? <sighs> Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? After you left, Zongon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him, though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night, and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? I was in a test tube. In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years! You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. In reality, I'm kind of the imposter. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get that. We'll, we'll get to that. I don't want to spoil the story for people who haven't experienced it already. I thought we could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Guess so. I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. You up? You up? You two fight. No. We have enough problems as it is. Copy? Mm. 
night. Tomorrow is another day. Ooh, chapter two, a new journey begins. Cloud shaves his armpits. Manscaping game on point. What's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? No, oh, I hate freaking. No, I don't want to play. I hate card based deck building many games. Uh, just not fun. I don't want to do them. Ooh. I'd rather just rob people, okay? Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Good morning, Multiple sir. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over. But the first official one was built here in Calm, and their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. Why does this guy look like a vampire? Vincent, is that you? Finally. Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Good doggo. Cat, though? Oh, uh... Cat. If you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. <laughs> the rook's got a backbone. So many things to do. No, 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 we're not, we're, we don't, we haven't heard of Queen's Blood, okay? It took me long enough, but I finally went and got myself. The rusty arrow. You know why Rufus had to step up. Yeah, the game runs so much better on perform performance mode. It's just itching to play, it didn't take time to go through the menus. Welcome. Damn, that is quite the weapon you got there, mister. Seen plenty of action by the look of it. But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. If you like, I could show you.
See? what I tell you? That girl is singing, and she's got the voice of an angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her, all right? Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. What you got? We have no money. <laughs> oh, we got 2,000. We'll, we'll save. We'll save. Okay. You take care of that weapon now. I'm just gonna. I don't want to. We'll just we'll just do let it do auto. Why, why, why? For all my other characters, I will let to do auto. Nice and balanced. <laughs> Don't want to spend more too many t too much time in the menus, right? Just want to hack, hack, slash, slash as much as we can. Fresh fish from June on Harbor. Fresh, fresh. Come on down and browse our wares yearly. And you're welcome to look and touch. Take all the time. Aha! Uh -huh. Finally decided to get up? Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome! Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? Build that bond of friendship. Ah, uh, Arcane's completely so Hey there! Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Lock the camp, right? New synergy ability. And that's about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see.
see you around. The toe's the one that gives me I can use it the most with the most amount of people. I think that's a good choice. You know, I thought calm was something to hit down in the middle of nowhere. I was really Morning. Morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Yeah. The place I made that promise to you. You remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, the light blue one? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. I remember. You know why Ruth has had to step up, don't you? Everyone's saying it. Our inspection team did that's routine. Need something for the kids? I was like trying to go on a date with Eris. Cloud! Over here! My man! Double dipping. Let's get started then, shall we? Gars this away. Should be, yeah. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks. It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. Get it, baby! Whoa, what the heck? Yo, fire pole? Come on. It's 
follow me. to hear what he's saying. Just, uh, just titch. Okay, I'm on your side. Got a contact at HQ. You're with Avalanche? Not exactly. Stop. I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. Feels very Assassin's Creed-ish. That went well. The inn's not much further. But stay on your toes. Friend of mine runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. Also, take this. It's a transmuter. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. You'll get more use out of it than me. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. Yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. Transmutation. What are we doing here? Full metal alchemist here? Come on. So the more that I do it, the more efficient I become at it. Oh, you made it. All in one piece? Sorry, 
Sorry we're late. For the love of... Where the hell have you two been? On a date. Kind of. What? Uh... <laughs> Well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. What? <laughs> this is awkward. Got that? Uh, uh. Now, let's move. Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. Still can't use my sword. We're in a no combat zone. <laughs> my eyes. The goggles do nothing. to learn what do you want to know hmm for starters how do we cross these planes come on now that's easy the same way you get anywhere pick a direction and start walking left go left go left right We won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. Let's go. <laughs> and there it was! The first step on our new journey! You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. Right? Red 13's voice actor sounds so familiar.
so there is an open world. There you go. Found you. No quick way down. <laughs> talking about, right? I think I've been damaged, so... It's important to make sure they've got plenty to eat. You'd be the avalanche, folks. It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hole up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wait your Shinra's forgotten it's even there. This 
This stuff here ain't feed for the animals. It's your bed. When it ain't... Dried enough, they get all bent out of shape. Start pecking in my head like it's a damn hay barrel. So I want to go to the exclamation mark, which is very far away. group of hitchhikers oh fancy meeting you here thanks again for the right to call ah uh, don't mention it it's the least i could do for two such lovely young ladies but i do believe i neglected to introduce myself the name's bill and you can count on me for a lift anytime except today that is afraid the old buttes pulled up lame sorry about that no biggie we're enjoying the fresh air thanks though you, uh, know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. Dude. Y'all just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. I am in pretty good company. Oh, look at you guys. the magic Use the bone want to be able to use the magic quicker Do 
ready when you are. We don't want. Jackie in the woods. This better be good. It's gotta be, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then, head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Junon. Sure. Why not? You trust these rotting hulks? I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe... We swim it. This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> <laughs> well... Can we rent some birds? Can we? Fine. <laughs> I swear we should just take that guy down. But I guess we can rent the chocobos. Ball racing.
Ben de yedik kurşun. Wow. So bougie. Where do I get more cushions? <laughs> Squirrel! Get ahead of ourselves. Chocobos. Pleasure to see you all again, and welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need him to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Remember for the longest time I didn't know how to pronounce Gizzle Greens? I pronounced them Geishel Greens. I think it was up until Final Fantasy XIV. Materia? That was crazy. <laughs> to solidify his role as a tank. Why not? It's a combo. Cool that uh, they can team up. Oh yeah, that's it. With other members of the party.
Howdy! Saw the sign. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But... I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. <sighs> the thing is... We don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm... Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours. Free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico. The hardest-headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. I see a weapon box over there. Give me. Back in the day, when I was younger, the original walkthroughs were actually like written walkthroughs by like game facts. So I would follow them just because I was always want not wanting to miss anything. And I kind of we got like like not even like halfway through the game, then I and then it says Aerith's ultimate weapon, and I was very confused. And then it all made sense. <laughs> oh, man. Carb stick. about my brother all he thinks about is money he's just doing his job we understand i suppose but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left <gasps> say are you guys from midgar yeah the undercity then do you happen to know chocobo sam um not very well but yeah i guess we do where is he Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Wall. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they could help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh, take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. 
No pressure, but if anything catches your eye... Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Repairing chocobo stops? How do I pair chuckle stop? I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. All right, Pico. Where'd you run off to? You mean Pico? Let's try looking for some traps. No, fence too tall. Very discreet, is he? I hear that chocobo music. Bingo. Yeah! Come on, y'all. Let's go bag us a chocobo. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. from the turn his head. Ain't going yet. Wait for it. Wait for the next turn. down on the why would I smoke them with the rock damn you get too smart dude just looking right at me Gotcha. First try. Oh, <laughs> isn't he just the cutest? <laughs> Similar, totally. <laughs> what does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. Nah, he digging. He digging. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. Oh. Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. Get that bird.
Here's our guy. <laughs> Nothing beats a little taste of home, now does it? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea, if we ask him nice. Ain't that right. I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? Hey, Cloud! Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you? No, I don't. Nope. Really? Not at all? It seems I didn't make as strong an impression as I thought. Silly me. Well, allow me to refresh your memory. My name's Chadley. I was the one researching Materia in Midgar. We first met in the Sector 7 Undercity, where I asked you to provide me with battle intel. Though brief, we had multiple interactions, through which we got to know each other. How was that? Ring any bells, perhaps? Yeah. Great! What a relief! Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But, to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find any. We'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. Easy. And this will activate it. As the tower is close by, allow me to accompany you. Oh boy, Square so next stealing a page out of Assassin's Creed synchronization points in Far Cry Towers. Here we are. Activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. 
But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? With each piece of world intel you collect, you will also provide me with the data I need to develop new materia. What I ultimately produce, however, is for you to decide. I look forward to finding out what we can create together. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Which particular task would you like to learn about? Do you happen to have any questions about... I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Let's go. Auto unique ability. I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. Dude has a little robot friend. Materia. You have an empty slot, right? One. 